I read the OUM roaming across your mind. Hello, welcome back with me in Learning English with Zach. Hi Zach, how are you today? I'm great. Hello Katian and hello listeners. We are back with us again for another hour of Learning English with me Zach. Okay Zach, uh, what is uh, our topic for today? Okay, today the topic is laughter, the best medicine. Mm -hmm. Now listeners, you take a look at the word laughter. Laughter comes from the from the root word. What is the root root, root word for laughter? It comes from the word laugh. Laugh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you get laugh, laugh is a verb, and a verb is part of the eight parts of speech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to laugh is a verb, and laughter it's an abstract noun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an abstract noun. Yeah. Now, why do I choose this topic, Fatin? Mm -hmm. Well, all of us here, including you listeners, you lead a very busy life. And mm -hmm. sometimes, we do not have the time to laugh. Yeah? And to laugh, so I can see Fatin smiling already. Mm -hmm. And to laugh is, is, a, is a form of uh, a, a way to distress yourself. Yeah? And uh, generally, why do you laugh? What makes you laugh, Fatin? Mm, maybe... Joke? Yeah, we laugh when we listen to a joke, mm -hmm. yeah, or we we see or we we hear something funny, mm -hmm. something that it's not we expect, mm -hmm. yeah, something that someone said or do that is that is not what you expect and way out of line. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when somebody is able to, when somebody is able to think out of the box and think creatively, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes when you're happy, do you feel ha do you feel happy when you laugh? Yes, of yeah. course. When I laugh, I really laugh out loud, and, mm -hmm. and you feel the burden off your your, your shoulders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So remember, mm -hmm. listeners, it's okay to laugh, mm -hmm. but don't laugh alone. <laughs> laugh together. Yeah, you laugh. You laugh. Yeah, but do not laugh, laugh alone, especially in your car when you're driving alone at night. So people may think that you're cuckoo. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's okay to laugh. Mm -hmm. And so today, listeners, let your hair down. We are going to share some jokes, control jokes with you. Mm -hmm. We're going to make you laugh, so just sit back, yeah? Mm -hmm. We're going to share with you some English jokes. Mm -hmm. And also, listen carefully. I'm going to test your listening skills. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read a few sentences here, mm -hmm. both broken English, mm -hmm. that you may probably have heard. Mm -hmm. And Fatin is going to identify mm -hmm. where is the joke and what, mean, what, what are the words that makes her laugh. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready listeners? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. I know like you do that. Don't talk like that in front of my bed. I know like oh. <laughs> I know like you do like that. Ayo, which are I so know, anjuma. I know this. like you do uh, that. Uh. Mm. Don't talk like that in front of my bed. Yeah, in front of my bed. Mm. So very oh, contradicting. Mm, mm, mm. So I know you like I, I I know like you do that. Hmm. I <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know it means I don't like you doing that to me. Mm. Uh, this is short form lah, like more like SMS. I know like you do that. It means I don't like you doing like that. Mm -hmm. And don't talk behind my back. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what it, it said. But it makes it sound so funny. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Mm -hmm. This is um, in, in a classroom situation. Professor Sir. <laughs> Repeat again, please. Professor Sir. Yeah. Very Re repeat again? Yeah. Oh. So you, when you, Professor. And a sir is a title, so mm -hmm. it's either professor or sir. Oh, uh, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So repeat again. Repeat again one more time. Sekali lagi. <laughs> it's a bit mouthful. Mm -hmm. So it's either professor or sir. Mm -hmm. And please repeat. Mm -hmm. Just that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. This is this is a very common mistakes. Yeah, listeners. Mm -hmm. Very common mistakes. Even at the management level, also they tend to make the same mistake. So mm -hmm. you know it, you don't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. The next one. Hiyo, Fatin. Hiyo. Mistake became wrong if you always do 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 do. Hiyo. <laughs> this one just like the Abel song. I do, I do, I do. Okay. Mistake become wrong if you always do 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 do. So where's the mistake here, Fatin? Mm, mistake be if uh no, no if always do 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 do. Yeah, that means if you if you repeat repeat doing yes. it. Mm -hmm. So you can make mistake. Mm -hmm. But if you keep but, on doing it over and over again, if the mm -hmm. mistake came, uh, if you keep on doing the same mistake, mm -hmm. then it's wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what you say lah. But mm -hmm. you have to say like that. Do 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 do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is um something similar. Mm -hmm. Something that we've heard before. Mm -hmm. Close the fan. No more hot here. 
Mm, no more hot here. No more. No more air corner. No close, more. close the fan. Close the fan. You saw. Put the box over. <laughs> Instead of saying close the fan, switch off. Switch off the fan. No mm. more hot here. Mm. No more hot here. <laughs> Hot as panas, not mm. pedas. Mm-hmm. Uh? That means it's no longer hot here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's no longer warm inside the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they did not close the fan or mm-hmm. no more hot here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. This one, uh, I have to talk in Tamil for this one. All right. A friend, listen up, your listeners. A friend advising a father, thinking about whether he should let his daughter continue her studies, or to get her married. Mm-hmm. So this is what the advice said. Well. If you want, if you want you study her, then study her. If you want to marry her, then marry her. <laughs> what the uncle is trying to say? <laughs> Which means what? If you want her to study, mm. not if you want you study her. Uh, you study her. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So if you want her to study, mm-hmm. let her study. Mm-hmm. Let if study. you want her to get married, let her get married. Study. Not mm. the one you study her. What the hell the father is talking about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Next. See, next. Uh, yeah, the next one. Uh, mm. Are you laughing, listeners? Yeah. Okay, that's more. Okay? <laughs> Just hold on your stomach mm-hmm. muscle. Mm. This is in the kitchen scenario. Mm. Kitchen scenario. Mm. Yeah. No, no. I don't need chair. I can stand eating. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't need chair. I can stand eating. What does it mean? No, no is understood. Mm-hmm. I don't need the chair. Mm. I can eat while standing. Mm-hmm. No, I can stand eating. I can stand eating. Mm. I can stand eating. This is mm-hmm. direct Malay translation. Mm-hmm. Makan berdiri. Uh, uh, makan berdiri. <laughs> okay. This is similar to to the hot uh, to to the fan just now. Mm-hmm. It's so hot. Please on and up the fan number. <laughs> Listen, on listen. up. <laughs> yeah, please. It's so hot here. Please mm-hmm. on and up the fan number. Mm-hmm. These are uh, common common uh, statements or jokes that we hear, mm-hmm. especially when uh, when we go back. When I go back to kampung sometimes, mm-hmm. or while talking to to people, mm-hmm. I like to listen. And and all those funny funny jokes, yeah, listeners. I usually write it down somewhere. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when I feel down, I read all this again, and <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> and I laugh. Yeah. And it, it really helps for my for my stomach muscle. <laughs> it's good. Okay, it's good. so so what does it mean? It's so hot. Please on and and up the fan number. It's hot. It's so hot here. It's warm. Mm. It's warm. Mm. So please switch, switch on, the, on fan the fan and increase the speed. Mm. You know, speed. You got you got fast, mm. slow, medium. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, but don't close the fan. Nah. Mm-hmm. You don't see close close the fan. Yeah. Uh, the next one, listeners. This is pronunciation issue. Mm-hmm. Accuse me, sir. <laughs> Accuse. I want go toilet. I want pass water. <laughs> I want pass water. You may be surprised, mm-hmm. listeners. This is among adults, not even secondary school students. Mm-hmm. This is adults, mm-hmm. working adults. Mm-hmm. Accuse me. Mm-hmm. I want go toilet. I want pass water. Yeah. Accuse me. It should be. Excuse me. Yeah, despite so many times, you know, I say excuse, sex, excuse. The third time still accuse. <laughs> so excuse. Uh, it should be excuse me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So listeners, repeat after me. Excuse. Ex- say that three times. <laughs> okay. So I want go toilet. I want to go to toilet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I want pass water. Adoi. Adoi. <laughs> Just go to toilet enough lah. Uh-huh. Say short call. Mm-hmm. Short call means you urine. <laughs> Long call means you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Banana come out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's long call. Okay. Whether it's short call or long call, yeah. Enough. Ah, uh, I want buy some food. I want buy some food. Mm-hmm. I got stomach headache. <laughs> I got stomach. You see, this this particular guy that I know mm-hmm. always relate to headache for any kind of head uh, of, of of ache, you know, mm-hmm. uh, among the parts of the body. Mm-hmm. So it must come with headache, stomach headache, leg headache, mm-hmm. you know, nose headache. Mm-hmm. So what was the issue here? Mm-hmm. I got. Instead of stomach headache, it should be stomach ache, mm. uh, stomach headache, mm. so leg, leg ache, mouth tooth ache. Don't say tooth headache. <laughs> It's different, yeah. So I want to buy, I want to buy some food. That mm. means I'm hungry. Hungry. I'm mm. hungry. Mm. I want to buy some food. Mm. I've got stomach ache. Mm-hmm. Enough, mm-hmm. So you have to say it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So here for a while. Let's take a listen to this song. Train. Hey, so sister. I 
Hi Radio OUM, I'm roaming across your mouth. Welcome back with me and Zach here. Yes, listeners. Now, next year, mm-hmm. uh, Fatin and listeners, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to talk about how can you build your sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And normally when we talk about sense of humor, we relate it closely to jokes. So I'm going to read you a few jokes. Yeah. So listen carefully because the joke will only come at the end. And if it's okay, you want to laugh, you laugh it out. Mm. But then don't laugh so loud. Uh-huh. The person next to you may be working. <laughs> and you might also... <laughs> uh, what do you attract your boss? Yeah? Uh-huh. But never mind. Ask your boss to laugh along, uh, mm. along too. Okay, the first one. This is When Life. The title is When Life is Going Wrong. And some of these jokes here, yeah, I got it from SMS. Mm-hmm. So, do you know those funny, funny SMS jokes from books and also from, from, from the internet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, listen up. When Life is Going Wrong. When relation when relations break up, when sorrow engulfs you, when tears flow down your eyes, just give me a call because I sell tissue papers. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Well, at first wow. you sound out so poetic, Ayoh. yeah. But anti climax at the end because I sell tissue papers, yeah. <laughs> and we don't use handkerchief anymore, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, the next one. Also, some poetic expressions. Mm-hmm. If eyes speak. That's love. If tears speak, that's affection. If money speaks, that's greed. If everyone speaks, that's the whole world. But if you speak, mental. <laughs> this is for someone who only talks. Only talks. Yeah. So when the minute he talks, that's mental problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. Four things which brings tears to the eye. Okay. The first one is definitely broken love. Mm-hmm. Separated friendship. Death and the last one, onion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you peel onions, yeah, mm-hmm. it's definitely your onions. And you know the tip to that? You poke the onion at the end of the of the of the not scissors, knife. What, what, the knife. <laughs> Sorry, knife. And then only you cut, mm. uh, so that prevents the tears from falling down. Mm-hmm. Okay. When uh, this is something sad, when you feel sad and alone, when everyone seems to be leaving you. When the world seems to be fading away into the mist, please let me know. I will take you to the eye specialist for a checkup. <laughs> Anticlimax, yeah? Anticlimax, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Secrets for a happy and healthy life. Wow. This is for all those bachelors. Abe, if you're listening. Okay? <laughs> Secrets for a happy and healthy, love, lo- uh, healthy life. Mm-hmm. Get a girlfriend who cooks well. Mm-hmm. Get a girlfriend who takes care of uh, takes care of you well. Get a girlfriend who looks well, and most of all, make sure that these three girls don't meet each other. <laughs> if not, they fight. Oh. Mm. If not, they will fight. Yeah, secret. Very secret. Oh, Imagine. Hey, hey, senengnya dalam hati. No, no, that one never work. Okay, beauty next year, listeners. Beauty is not based on how you look. Beauty is not based on how you speak. Beauty is not based on your color. Not cholo, based on your color. <laughs> but beauty is based on your inner self. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> listeners, please change your inner wear daily without fail. Yeah? <laughs> that's, that's closely related to beauty yeah. as well. Mm. Inside out, upside down, left, right, center, top, bottom must be clean. Mm-hmm. This is what it's trying to say. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, okay. At this very moment, listeners, mm-hmm. at this very moment on Monday, one billion people are sleeping. One million people are eating. One thousand people are drinking. Hundred people are playing. And only one monkey is reading my SMS now. <laughs> this is... Sorry, I, I don't mean to be so rude, but this is just an SMS joke. <laughs> SMS joke. SMS joke, yeah. I wonder who's the monkey here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. But, okay, this is another one. Mm-hmm. But why didn't you tell me the good news? Someone exclaimed. Mm-hmm. I heard it from one of our friends. Mm-hmm. Anyway, congratulations. A TV channel has been named after you. Animal Planet. <laughs> <laughs> the Animal Planet, yeah? <laughs> ah, okay, the next one. <laughs> The m- most lovable kiss, a mother's kiss. Sweetest kiss, your girlfriend's kiss. Cute kiss, your sister's kiss. The hottest, hottest kiss. kiss, 
Keep your lips on the bike silencer. <laughs> <laughs> that was the hot kiss. What are you thinking of, listeners? Yeah. And the last one, the last one here. Mm-hmm. I want you to be with me on a cheerful night. Wow, sounds so romantic mm-hmm. and in love. Yeah, I want you to be with me on a cheerful night, in a nice restaurant, candlelight dinner, superb menu, and say the three important words to you. Pay the bill. <laughs> it's not I love I, you. I love you. It's not I love you. It's you just pay, pay the, the bill. bill. Yeah? You just pay the bill. Okay, so we have for a while. Zach, so we have for a while. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so for more jokes, yeah, for more jokes. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hi Radio OUM, roaming across your mind. Welcome back with me and Gat. Get yeah. Zach, learning English with Zach. <laughs> yes, I hope you're enjoying our session this afternoon, yeah, listeners. Mm-hmm. Okay, for more jokes. Now, these are some of the common SMS jokes. Good morning jokes. So sometimes when you wake up and your and your handphone rings, the message came in and you get this one of the funny jokes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And it, it sounded so serious at the beginning. But towards the end, mm-hmm. it just make your jaw laugh. Mm-hmm. Drops, make your jaw jaw drops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Listen up. This is the SMS. Good morning. My heart is sea. Friends are fishes. You are one of my golden fish. I'll keep you safe in my heart. If you try to escape from my heart, I will fry <laughs> you. Be careful. <laughs> I will go ring you. Mm. That, that, that's what it means, yeah? <laughs> Another funny one. This is an insulting joke, yeah? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You should know what you are. And once you know what you are, mental hospital is not so far. <laughs> ah, very, in, very insulting, yeah? Mm. Okay. Um, a funny SMS. Let's continue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Teacher to, to 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 the students. The teacher is asking the students question. Mm-hmm. If you have any doubts in in what I have taught you so far, please ask me any question. Mm-hmm. So a smart Alex student put up the hand and say, mm-hmm. "Are you a maths teacher or an English teacher? <laughs> <laughs> you insulting me or something?" <laughs> <laughs> ah, a, a hilarious <laughs> SMS insult. Mm-hmm. Okay, scanning your brain. Yeah, the student is, is is scanning the brain, and this is the the the, the result. 10%, 20% done, 50%, 100% scan complete. Mm-hmm. Then the report say, your brain is made up of two parts, left and right. The left part has nothing right and the right part has nothing left. <laughs> this is how you use the left and the part, which is so right, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, that is the SMS joke. Ah, the next one, mm-hmm. friendship joke. Friendship SMS joke. Listen carefully. Maybe you would like to 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 use this. <laughs> May our friendship turn into silver, silver into gold. Wow, gold into diamonds. I like. And may our diamonds be forever. Then we sell fifty fifty. Okay. <laughs> Why it first sounds so lovey dovey? At the end, we sell fifty fifty. <laughs> business means business, business. whether friend or not. Yeah. Okay. Want to have sweet dreams, ladies and gentlemen? Mm-hmm. Put salt on your eyes before going to sleep. Okay. Tomorrow I tell you how to get spicy masala dreams. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. This is what it means by sweet dreams. <laughs> Yesterday, oh, this is so true. I will feel very sad when I read this, yeah? Yesterday is an old paper. Today is a newspaper. Tomorrow is a question paper. But life it's an answer paper so write it carefully mm-hmm. so we're talking about robot life this is so true yeah mm-hmm. the question paper and all that mm-hmm. now another one that really makes sense before going to sleep before going to sleep you can say good night mm-hmm. but before waking up can you say good morning <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Let, come to think about it yeah mm. can you say good morning before you wake up you just cannot yeah you just cannot okay Ah, uh, for those of you who are still searching for for girlfriend or boyfriend, mm-hmm. just listen this up, yeah. If you have, if you want, if you if you have a pretty girlfriend, it's super, it's great. If your girlfriend has a prettier sister, it's buy one get one free other. <laughs> oh. 
So you must ask your girlfriend whether mm-hmm. they have a cute sister. Mm-hmm. It's like one you get, buy one you get one free. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, <laughs> but don't practice it. Uh, no good, no good, no good. No good, no good. No good. <laughs> okay, without girls, college is a waste. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what most boys will say. Yeah, mm-hmm. without girls, college is a waste. Without money, life is a waste. But without you, my dear, our local zoo is a waste. <laughs> so for those of you who have not visited the zoo, please do so this weekend. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't know how much we have to pay to go to our zoo negara. Don't know. Obviously, she has not gone to the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Academic. Ah, uh, this is an academic text message. Listen up. Yeah. You ha- you 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 tend to wonder also what the answer is. Why is a lecturer? Greater as compared to a mother. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, why one is better than the other? This is because can you can you think of the answer why? <laughs> it's because a mother can put only one child to sleep unless they have twins or triplets lah. Mm-hmm. Put all the children to sleep, mm-hmm. but a lecturer can put the whole class to sleep. <laughs> oh, yo. so that is the difference between a lecturer, a lecturer yeah. and and. A mother. a mother Yeah mm. Alright ah, The next one This is a, a joke A letter joke You mm-hmm. know letter surat mm-hmm. Don't let you write mm-hmm. A student wrote a letter To his dad From his hostel This is how the letter reads Dear dad No money No money No fun Your son <laughs> Then the dad replied Dear son So sad Very bad Your, your dad, dad. That's your dad. <laughs> All right. Before we li- we we listen to to the next song, mm-hmm. this is a doctor's advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, I've got two two doctors' advice here. Mm-hmm. Now the wife asked the has the the husband, why do you wear your specs only when I come in? You got that business? Why do you always wear your specs only when I come in? Mm-hmm. So when the husband is not in, she will never wear the specs. Only mm-hmm. when the husband walks in, mm-hmm. she wears the specs. Mm-hmm. So the husband replied. The doctor has ordered me to wear my specs whenever I get a headache. Then Mister Peter, look at the wire. Yeah, uh-huh. He got headache, not stomach headache, uh-huh. not stomach headache. Uh-huh. Is is the headache? Yeah. <laughs> a doctor and patient joke this time. A woman went to the doctor and said, "When I look in the mirror this morning, doctor, I saw my hair was frizzy, my skin wrinkly, my eyes bloodshot. What is wrong with me, doctor?" Then the doctor replied. Well, the good news is that your eyesight is fine. <laughs> <laughs> that means what she's looking at is mm-hmm. is actually a direct reflection of who she is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So here for a while. Yes. Okay. Let's take a listen. Let's take a listen to this song. Yes. I read the OUM roaming across your mind. Yeah, you're still with me, Zach. Yeah, with and with Fatin. Your, and Fatin as well. Mm-hmm. All right, Fatin, do you realize that when we say, when we read jokes, we have to use our voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's so right, listeners. Um, when you are saying a joke, you you need to use a lot of intonation. You need to use the pausing effect. Only then people will laugh at your joke, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. And um, you have to express or say it through your voice. Mm-hmm. If you have poker face, then it's even better. <laughs> poker face, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And sometimes, have you heard of of uh, uh, or, or do you know of anyone who just cannot laugh, no matter what jokes we tell them? Mm, no. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've I've come across. I think everyone should laugh. <laughs> she laugh at the jokes, yeah. Mm. Fatin looks so sweet when she laughs, yeah. Mm. Okay, listeners. Um, the the few next jokes I'm going to share with you, uh, these are uh, a collection of jokes, funny jokes, uh, can be academic jokes that comes directly from the mouth of children, mm. and sometimes the questions and answers that they give may sound silly, mm-hmm. but yet so innocent, mm-hmm. silly, and sometimes it can sound stupid as well. Also, mm-hmm. but never mind. Mm-hmm. I'm going to share with you the collection that I have, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a funny teacher and, and student joke. The teacher asked the student, "Students, what happened in 1809?" Must be a history history class. Mm-hmm. What happened in 19 in 1809? The student mm-hmm. answered, mm-hmm. "Abraham Lincoln was born." Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Then the teacher further asked, "What happened in 1819?" The first one 1809. Mm-hmm. Then the next one, "What happened in 1819?" Wow! Student put up the hand and say, "Abraham Lincoln was 10 years old." <laughs> <laughs> See, how can you fault them? Which is so true. Maybe another event happened in that year. But yeah, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, ten, turn ten ten. ten turn happy birthday to you. Ten years old. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, this is months of the year. You're talking about January, February, the months of the year. The teacher asked, "What is the first month in the year?" Very easy. Everybody say January. What is the second month? February. What is the tenth month? Delivery. <laughs> <laughs> delivery ninth month. It takes mm, nine months, nine months for mothers to conceive. Mm-hmm. Ten months mm-hmm. definitely delivery, ma. Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that's one. Mm-hmm. The other one, it's um. Let me see. Yeah, a funny joke. Mm-hmm. Same. A teacher asked the student, mm-hmm. "Give me an example of coincidence." The student replied, "My mom and my my mother got married." My mom and my dad got married on the same day. <laughs> It's not a coincidence. Something should happen there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, another another silly teacher student joke. The teacher asks, "How old is your dad?" The student answer, "He is as old as I am." The teacher asks again, "How is that possible?" Because he became a dad only after I was born. <laughs> See how so cute. Yeah, it's so cute. How innocent it may be true. Mm-hmm. It may be true. Yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, this is the in the exam hall joke. Again, the student scenario. The 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 invigilator asks, "If any doubt, ask me." Student answer, "Sir, in question paper, question is there, but in answer paper, no answer is there." <laughs> Yeah, which is so true mm-hmm. and stupid too, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, another maths, um, math, mathematics teacher to student joke. The teacher asked, "Okay, Fatin, mm-hmm. I give you two dogs, then I again give you two dogs. Mm-hmm. How many will you have? Four dogs. <laughs> Four dogs. Wrong. The answer is five dogs." The student answer five dogs. Mm-hmm. Then did you say how mm-hmm. come? Mm-hmm. I have a dog in my house now. <laughs> <laughs> you never tell me, ma. You never ask me. I got dog or not? <laughs> so I got five dogs. So so two plus two plus one is five. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right, that's one, yeah. <laughs> And yes, for more jokes, please stay tuned, listeners. Stay tuned. Okay, so here for a while, let's take a listen to this song, Selena Gomez. Only on I read the OEM. Room across your mind. Welcome back with Learning English with Zach. Yeah, you wanna laugh some more, listeners? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next one is on silly Amy. Right. The teacher asked Amy, Amy, what do you call the outside of a tree? You know, tree pokok pokok. Mm-hmm. What do you call the outside of the tree? The student say, no idea, miss. Mm-hmm. No idea, teacher. Mm-hmm. So this makes the teacher angry. Mm-hmm. Then the teacher angry answered, mm-hmm. bark, Amy. Mm-hmm. So the outside of the tree mm-hmm. is called bark, mm-hmm. and Amy answer, ba wa 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 wa. Amy, Amy, <laughs> Amy, poor Amy, yeah, poor Amy. She doesn't know between uh, a tree and also a dog, yeah. But that's so true. That's so true. Mm-hmm. A doctor mm-hmm. asked the patient, "Have you ever fainted before?" Patient asked, "Yes, the last time you told me your fees." <laughs> That means the fees must be so must be so very high, yeah, so very high. Another one. Ah, uh, this is again. Ah, uh, this is so funny. This is so funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, those of you without hair, you'll understand. This is what we call the laugh out loud joke. The teacher asks a student, "Suppose you have offered money and knowledge. You have to take one of them. Which one would you choose?" The student say, "Money." Teacher said, "I would have taken knowledge." But why do you take money? I have the lack of money. That's why you have lack of knowledge. That's why too. 
Wow, douche. Wow. Wow, that was a really, really big, in, a really, really big insult. Yeah. Mm. Ah, this one is the other one. It's um the one on on the hair, mm. the one on the hair. Yeah, <laughs> the one on the head. This I find it is this that is so funny. Okay, mm-hmm. teacher student. Mm-hmm. Teacher is is explaining to to the to the student. If you see something sinking in the water, you should pull his hair to save him from the water. Mm-hmm. It will be very easy for you. Mm-hmm. But the student, I say, but sir, if it happens to you, we shouldn't help you. Why? The teacher asked. Then the student said, because you don't have any hair. <laughs> How can we pull your hair? You got don't have hair. Yeah? <laughs> this is this is so very very naive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Another teacher, a t- teacher, teacher, mm-hmm. student, teacher. Exam mm-hmm. shop. Mm-hmm. Ben got hundred out of hundred in the exam. So the teacher gave him a gift and said, "I hope you will do the same in the next exam." Mm-hmm. Ben said, "Thank you, sir. I hope you will also print the question paper from your <laughs> uncle's printing shop next time." <laughs> no wonder he gets hundred upon hundred. Mm-hmm. So be careful, printers. Those printers. of you work, uh, working with printers, be mm-hmm. careful. Yeah, mm-hmm. we do not want any. What do you call it? There's a word for it. You do we do not want to have ah never mind. Salam pocho. Ah salam pocho. Salam pocho. Ah conflict of interest. <laughs> ah yeah, so alam pocho. Mm-hmm. All right. This is a very ridiculous joke. You can share this with your with your children and and listen to the answers. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous ridiculously innocently stupid. <laughs> yeah, every got it. Okay. Teacher asks, suppose you have a box Which contains a ten foot snake, but sir, snakes don't have feet. <laughs> <laughs> snakes don't have feet. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Uh, next one. Mm-hmm. Teacher, why does sea water taste like salt? Mm-hmm. And student answer. Mm-hmm. Maybe a ship of salt sinked a long time ago. <laughs> That's why the sea water is very very salty. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah? <laughs> This is the outspoken. Mm-hmm. Outspoken student joke. Listen up. Mm-hmm. Ron, the student's name is Ron. Mm-hmm. Ron, your handwriting is very bad. You will suffer in the future. Don't worry teacher, I'll be a typist. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a typist, yeah? <laughs> Another funny silly joke. Teacher said, "Tell me an example of a creature which can live on water." As well as land, the student answer frog, mm-hmm. F R O G frog. <laughs> Teacher asks, give me another example. Student say another frog. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot help, I cannot help but laugh. Yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, this one is a clever student joke, mm-hmm. very clever. Mm-hmm. Teacher, Teacher said, Tom, I know you're very bad at spelling. That's why I told you to write down this sentence ten times. Why did you write only four times? Student answered, "I am bad at maths too." <laughs> Imagine you have students that listen class. I do. You <laughs> suffer in silence, yeah. You suffer. Ah, a funny student joke also. Mm-hmm. The maths, the maths teacher said, "Ah, this is an equation, yeah. Listen, this equation: A equals B, B equals C. So therefore, A equals C." Prove this method with good example, student. So one student put up the hand. Mm-hmm. Miss, I love you. Mm-hmm. You love your daughter. So I love your daughter. That's all, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good example. Good example. Very mm-hmm. good indeed. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would have died standing. Okay. <laughs> Funny student joke again. Student A asked, "My teacher caned me for something I did not do." Then student B said, "That's so bad." Well, I didn't do my homework. <laughs> so who, who you? They definitely ask for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they will definitely ask for it. Mm-hmm. All right. So listeners, that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed our session with um, with with uh, laughter, the best medicine. Mm-hmm. So it, it is good to let your hair down sometimes. Mm-hmm. And whenever you feel down, whenever you feel demotivated, whenever you need that energy, that pushed, read a joke. Mm-hmm. Tune in, tune in to Let's Learn English with Zach. Yeah. Listen to this session again, mm-hmm. and you will have a good laugh, and it, it it will make you feel happy. So till next week, have a great week ahead. So goodbye now. Bye bye.